Wobblies! Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris and in this episode we are showing you how to put up the Browning Privacy Shelter. The second video that Wobbly Otter Outdoors ever made and the first review video we ever did was on the Browning Privacy Shelter. We did a walkthrough and kind of a review of the shelter when we first got it back in April of 2016. So we've had it for more than four years and we've used it and we still enjoy it. It's still in fantastic shape. And the reason we're doing this video is the last three comments that have shown up on that video were saying that instructions didn't come with their shelter and we're looking for help in how to set the thing up. So that's why we're doing it. I have to say in all the time we've had it, we've probably never set it up the same way twice. So in doing this video, I took a little extra time so that I could show you what I think is probably the best, most stable way to do it. Let's have a look at what's in the bag and I'll introduce you to the parts. In the comments on that initial video, folks indicated that there weren't any instructions with their privacy shelter. That came as quite a surprise to us because in the bag that our privacy shelter came in, the instructions on how to set it up are sewn inside the bag itself. We'll include a link to the image of this guide front and back down in the video description below. This is the shelter. This is the rain fly. The poles. Tent stakes. And it also comes with a repair kit. Tent stakes. There are four corner upright poles. Each one has this cable inside. It's a twisted cable and it's got an elastic -y component to it. This is the pole that will hold out or support the side shelf, the shelf that's in the, one of the side walls. And these two poles are the cross poles for the top. First thing I'm going to try to do is identify where the door is and I'm going to put the door so it is facing you. might turn it slightly but generally so the door is facing you and that will put the shelf on your right. This is the top. It's screen all the way around the top and it has the material that comes across and crosses in the center. So this is our topmost support attachment. And this looks like our door. So what I'm going to do now is identify where the corners are on the floor and get the floor laid out kind of like I want it to be. On each corner from the very bottom is a ring, the tab that's attached to the tin itself, and then there is a pin 
This pin is going to go inside the bottom wall support hole. I'm going to go ahead and stake out all four corners of the floor. These are the two poles that are crossed across the top of the tent. Hopefully, if we did that right, we'll be able to put these front two poles in the front pins and then start standing our tent up. I'm going to put the pins 
inside the bottom of the two back holes. Now what we do is we go all the way around to the four upright poles. We take each of the little strap attachments and attach it to the side pole. All right, so that's our basic tent, and all that's left to add on are the rain fly on top, put up the side shelf on your right. The pole for the side shelf is put in through the inside. For either end of the pole, there is a little sleeve that the end goes into on each side, on each side of the shelf. It goes in right there. And then there are three little Velcro straps that go around the pole to hold it down in place. That's the pole support, and now we'll go outside and stake out the guy wire that keeps it taut and really keeps the shelf in place. Now we're going to put on the rain fly. The rain fly isn't necessary unless you want to put it up. It does add a lot of extra stability to the shelter in case it's windy. Each corner of the rain fly has this elastic loop with a plastic hook on the end of it. The hooks of the rain fly go inside these rings that are on the corner sides of the shelter. Now that we have those loops in place, we can stake out the rain fly. I realized I almost forgot to add, it has been four years since we bought our privacy shelter. So even though you may buy a Browning privacy shelter today, it may not have the same components and setup 
exactly the same way that ours does. So please allow for whatever differences that four years time may make to the product that you receive. We hope very much that this is helpful and useful to those who have a Browning privacy shelter that didn't come with instructions on how to set it up or maybe those instructions have been lost. And let us know down in the comments what you think. Down in the video description are a couple of things for you. One is a snapshot of the instructions that are sewn into the bag that our privacy shelter came in. And another is our affiliate link to the Browning Privacy Shelter on Amazon. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time.